Hey guys, welcome back. How are you? I hope you are good at doing well. So we are now in the assignment number six of our job portal project and here we need to work on two tasks. First is to provide different options for registered to job seeker and employers and then we need to make the company name required or the company details required if user is registering as the employer okay so we will start with the first task which is provide different options for register to the job seeker and employers okay so now let me tell you that how what we need to do here so go to the issue and read its description that right now we have a single page of sign up and we are using this for both job seekers and employers and that seems to be an issue because there is no way right now to set the role of the register user so we need to allow users to register along with their roles i mean user must have a choice of sign up as job seeker or as employer okay so there are multiple ways to achieve it but and we will discuss all the possibilities here and we will go with one of them okay so if you go to the portal you can see that right now no user is sign in when you click on sign in and you will click on the sign up button to register a new user you will see the common details like first name last name email contact number password and password confirmation that is fine and these are all the required attributes okay but right now we do not have any way to set the user's role through the gui okay and right now what we are doing we are setting it from console after registering a user okay but that is not a good approach to do that okay so we need to fix it and how we can fix it so either we can display two radio buttons on the sign up form that i am a job seeker or i am a employer okay so whatever the checkbox user will select we will set its role to the form okay this is one way and the other way is we can provide a page where we can provide two options uh, two links let's say register as job seeker register as employer and then we can set a query parameter to change uh, to uh, select their roles okay like uh, if it is job seeker user click on the jobs register a job seeker link we will set a query parameter with uh, uh, name let's say uh, sign up as job seeker or sign up as uh, employer okay so we need to do that so we will go with the two different options rather than going with the radio checkboxes okay and i will show you also that how we can uh, do this using the check boxes and radio buttons okay so but first let's uh, do this with separate options with two different links register as job seeker and register as employer okay so now what we need to do that first we need to add a template where we can display those links okay so first you go to the code okay and here open the home controller sorry yeah here from the controllers open the home controller and here we need to add an action that is def sign up options or you can make it register options as well okay registration options okay save it and now what we need to do we need to create a template with this action for this action okay so go to the app use home directory and here you need to create a new template which is sign up options dot HTML dot ERP. Okay. And then open the routes file. And in the routes, we need to add the route for it. Okay. So what route we can add? Let's say get register. And it should point to home controllers sign up options uh, action. Okay. And then open the uh, device login form. Okay. You can go to the users sessions new.html.trb and here when you can see the link sign up just to replace this path with register path okay this register path is that we defined into the routes.rb okay save it and save all the changes now go to the browser and click on the sign in and now click on the sign up you will see an empty template okay now we need to implement this template i mean we need to pro make some G gui here so that user can select different roles uh, different options to sign up into the system okay so first what we need to do go to the template and here in the sign up options.html.trv what we need to do let's say do class row empty five Okay, and then here within this row at a line break first sorry into the file line and then give class call lg8 mx auto 
okay and then here we need to add some message like let's say p class lead 55 mb5 font weight bold and text is secondary text is secondary close this p tag and now we need to write some message here like let's say on job portal you can register as employer register as employer if you have some open positions or works at your company okay we allow you to register as employer if you have some open positions or contract works at your company company okay or you can register as job seeker as well if you are looking for change or in search for your dream job so or you can register as job seeker if you are looking for change or in search for your dream job okay and save this now what we need to do that we need to make some changes so but first let's go to the browser and see if we can see this message so yes we can see this message now let's uh, add some cards so in this div after the paragraph take what we need to do let's add a row class class row and here we need to add two class call lg and then card call lg6 okay and within that add a card and then in this card add a card body card body and then text center okay and now here you can add a message let's say and here you can add let's say i want to hire okay i want to hire okay and then what you need to do you need to add a link here okay so we will make a block button so sorry here div class d grid gap to and here what you need to do link to register as employer register as employer and then new user registration path okay and then we need to add some query parameter like for let's say type hire okay and then add class btn btn primary then btn lg okay so save this and refresh the page so that you can see a option okay so here you can see i want to hire and register as employer okay now let's uh, replicate the same thing copy this uh, div call lg6 block within the same row okay so that we can add option for registering a job seeker as well okay and here what we can make it like let's say i am looking for change 
or okay or i am looking for my dream job or i want to i want to register a job seeker okay so whatever you want to it let's say uh, i am looking for change okay or i am looking for jobs okay and then register as job seeker here now what we need to do change the type to uh, hire to let's say seeker okay and then save this and now what you can do you can just register this and here you can see i want to hire i'm looking for change okay and then register as employer and register as job seeker so you can do this thing now and when you click on this register as employer you can see that we are on the sign up page and we are seeing this type hire as the query string okay so now based upon this query string we will add the company details here and the role okay and if you are going to clicking on this link i mean register as job seeker when you click on this you will see that it is showing the type seeker okay so this is how we can provide different options to users to uh, register into the system i mean as either they can register as employer or they can register as job seeker okay so that is a better approach okay because uh, since we are using a single model with different roles okay and we are using single sign up form but we need some different data uh, whenever a user register on the system okay i mean if a job seeker register on the system we need only uh, basic details and its role but when a employer registers into the system we need its company name as well or we need its company details as well okay so that's why we separate this uh, login functionality okay so here uh, in this lecture that's only thing that we need to do so we added the options here like i if a user is uh, want to register as employer then they can see here i want to hire and they can click on this link and if user is looking for jobs they can register as a job seeker okay so that's it for this lecture now in the next lecture we will implement the form uh, sorry we will make some changes into the sign up form where we will uh, add the roles of the user and the company name attribute okay so let's meet into the next lecture and follow this lecture and complete this and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe